Hello, uh, my name is Reo Eriguchi. Uh, in this video, I talk about a non-interactive secure multi-party computation for symmetric functions or revisited, more efficient constructions and extensions. Uh, this is a joint work with Kazuma Ohara, Shota Yamada, and Koji Nuida. First, we introduce a non-interactive multi-party computation. Uh, this is a variant of secure computation that allows each player to send only a single message, depending on their private inputs. Uh, players send their messages to an output player called the evaluator. In this model, uh, players do not need to communicate with each other, and so they can realize asynchronous uh, multi-party computation, which is especially important in applications to uh, voting, auctions, and statistical surveys. We note that a standard MPC protocol uh, assumes a simultaneous interaction between players, and so some player may need to wait for uh, messages from others. Uh, that leads to a delay in completion of protocol. Uh, previously, it is known that unconditionally secure NIMPC protocol for all the N input functions is possible. However, such a protocol must result in exponentially large communication complexity because of a known lower bound. So in this work, uh, we focus on a special class of practical functions with applications to uh, voting, auctions, and so on. We aim at reducing communication complexity of NIMPC protocols for those specific functions. Here we summarize our contributions. First, uh, we propose an efficient NIMPC protocol uh, for symmetric functions, uh, which can be applied to voting and auctions. Our protocol uh, improves the best known communication complexity for symmetric functions. We also propose an efficient uh, NIMPC protocol uh, for linear classifiers. Uh, they perform a classification based on a weighted sum of N inputs. Uh, they include support vector machines and logistic regression. Our protocol is the first one uh, tailored to linear classifiers, other than the general but inefficient construction for all the functions. In addition, we revisit a previously known technique uh, to strengthen uh, privacy of NIMPC. Uh, it's an important technique for NIMPC, and actually we use it uh, in the above efficiency improvement part. However, we reveal that uh, their sub-protocol uh, used as a building block uh, does not satisfy the security requirements, and so their technique uh, is not secure either. In this work, uh, we also fix that uh, security issue without increasing their communication complexity. Uh, in summary, uh, their statements still hold true, but it is necessary to replace their building block with ours. In this talk, uh, due to the time constraint, uh, we only explain our NMPC protocol for symmetric functions and our security analysis. First, uh, we provide the definition of NIMPC. Uh, we consider a class of N input functions H. An NIMPC for H consists of three algorithms. First, a randomness generation algorithm takes as input a function to compute and outputs a correlated randomness. Each piece RI is sent to the ith player in the setup. Then uh, each player computes an uh, encryption function on their private input and their randomness. Then he sends a message MI to the evaluator. Finally, the evaluator computes a decryption function on all the messages. The efficiency of NIMPC protocols is measured by a communication complexity, which is defined as the maximum number of bits uh, to send randomness and messages. Then the correctness of NIMPC is straightforward. Uh, specifically, for any function H and any N inputs, we require that an output of the evaluator is equal to the output of the function H. The privacy requirement of NIMPC is more involved and 
is a bit different from that of uh, standard multi-party computation. Specifically, uh, we assume an adversary corrupting a subset of players C, uh, as well as the evaluator. Then the adversary obtains the randomness of corrupted players and messages from honest players. Using that information, the adversary can locally compute a function H on all the possible inputs of corrupted players, uh, combined with the fixed inputs of honest players. This kind of information leakage cannot be avoided in NIMPC, and so require that a protocol uh, leaks nothing beyond that uh, information, which is why we call that uh, privacy requirement a best possible security. Formally, we define a residual function uh, whose input variables are those corresponding to corrupted players and whose output is a value of h uh, fixing the inputs of honest players. We say that an NIMPC protocol is zero-best uh, if it leaks nothing beyond the residual function. Um, uh, formally, uh, there exists a simulator uh, that perfectly simulates the adversary's view only from the oracle access to the residual function. We simply say that a protocol is T-robust uh, if it is C-robust for all subsets of size utmost T. And we also say that a protocol is fully robust if it is N-robust. So uh, through robustness is the strongest privacy requirement of NIMPC. Next, uh, we provide uh, uh, our NIMPC protocols for symmetric functions. Uh, before we give the formal definition of symmetric functions, we introduce a generalized notion of abelian programs. Uh, let G be an abelian group, and S1 to Sn uh, be subsets of G, and F be an arbitrary function from a G to a 0 or 1. Then an abelian program, uh, HF, uh, takes as input uh, n tuples from the uh, product set of S1 to Sn. And it computes the function f on the sum of n inputs. Then we define the class of abelian programs as a collection of, as a collection of all HF, uh, each associated with um, function f. Uh, we note that the class of abelian programs include uh, all symmetric functions. Indeed, uh, let h be any symmetric function, that is, um, a value of h does not change even if we arbitrarily permute the input variables. We can observe that uh, h of x depends only on the vector vx rather than x itself, uh, where each entry vj uh, counts how many inputs are equal to j. Then let G be the direct product of D cyclic groups of size n plus 1, and S1 to Sn uh, be all the set of all unit vectors. And because of that property of H, uh, there exists a function f uh, such that its value on Vx is equal to H of x for all inputs x. Uh, from that observation, H can be viewed as an abelian program associated with that function f. In summary, the class of Babelian programs includes uh, all symmetric functions. And so from now on, we construct uh, NIMPC protocols for Abelian programs rather than for symmetric functions. Before going into the details, uh, we make an important remark on the definition of Abelian programs. In the definition, uh, we specify uh, input domains, S1 to Sn. This is because um, how to set input domains affects uh, how much information leaks from the residual functions, which is directly related to uh, the privacy requirement of NIMPC. For example, uh, consider an abelian program, HF, and it's a residual function when uh, the nth input player is corrupted. And then, uh, if the input domain of the nth player, SN, uh, is equal to G, uh, that of the residual function is also G. That means an adversary is allowed to compute uh, HF on all the elements uh, from G, uh, combined with uh, the fixed inputs of honest players. However, uh, if SN is a strict subset of G, 
um, the adversary is only allowed to compute HF on, uh, on elements from the subset. Uh, in summary, uh, NIMPC protocol for abelian programs uh, whose input domains are all G is allowed to leak more information than NIMPC for abelian programs whose input domains are uh, strict subsets. We must distinguish two cases uh, because the corresponding privacy requirements are completely different. Uh, now we show the details of our result. First, uh, we consider the case uh, where uh, input domains are all G. Then uh, we propose a fully robust NIMPC protocol uh, whose communication complexity uh, improves the best known result. An important point is that uh, because of the uh, known lower bound, uh, the complexity cannot be uh, sublinear uh, in the size of uh, G. So the exponent of our result uh, is minimum. We also consider the case where input domains are strict subsets. Uh, we propose a T-robust NIMPC protocol uh, whose communication complexity again improves the best known results in terms of uh, the size of G. And um, now we explain our NIMPC protocols. Um, first, we deal with uh, a case where input domains are G. Our high-level idea is extending the, another previous protocol uh, that is tailored to the cyclic group uh, into a, a general abelian group. So the communication complexity of our protocol uh, is also similar to uh, that of the previous protocol. We briefly recall that uh, protocol for a symmetric function. Uh, inputs are n group elements and uh, we want to compute a function f on the sum of n elements. Uh, instead of uh, directly dealing with uh, group elements, they express uh, each element g uh, as the g iteration of a special map sigma, uh, which shifts elements by one. Then uh, the protocol proceeds as follows. Um, first, n inputs are expressed by uh, the n corresponding maps. And the protocol uh, perf uh, securely performs a uh, composition of these maps. Uh, because of the number of iterations is now uh, the sum of n inputs, uh, it is possible to compute a uh, value of f on the sum. An important part of this protocol uh, is to uh, securely perform the composition of these maps, uh, but it can also be done by uh, Killian's randomization technique. It uses uh, n-1 pairs of a random number and its inverse. Um, each input are, is masked with these uh, random numbers. But uh, if they are multiplied, uh, the desired composition can be obtained. Uh, our protocol roughly uh, follows that uh, previous for framework. Uh, we have to generalize the representation of the cyclic group to a general abelian group. For that, uh, we use the regular representation of G. Uh, it expresses uh, each element G by a uh, map tau G, uh, which shifts uh, elements by G. An important feature of this representation is um, composition of n representations is equal to a representation for the sum of n elements. Uh, using that uh, property, our protocol uh, proceeds as follows. In the setup, uh, n-1 random permutations are generated. Then uh, each player is given a tuple of uh, representations uh, masked with uh, these permutations. Then uh, players uh, choose a masked representation corresponding to, to their input and send it as a message. Finally, uh, the evaluator uh, performs a composition of these maps. Uh, because of that property, uh, he can obtain a value of f on the sum. However, uh, this protocol is not final. Uh, the complexity is quadratic in the size of g because 
uh, we need to uh, send um, masked representations for all group elements. However, um, our important observation is that uh, it is sufficient to send only representations for generators because players can locally compute a uh, masked representation corresponding to their uh, inputs uh, from them. Furthermore, the number of generators is also bounded by the uh, log of the size of G uh, due to the fundamental theorem of finite abelian groups. So we can achieve the desired complexity. Now uh, we explain our protocols uh, for abelian programs uh, where input domains are strict subsets. Uh, we construct it uh, based on our former protocol for abelian programs uh, where input domains are all G. To restrict input domains, uh, we use a previously known technique to strengthen uh, privacy of NIMPC. Uh, it transforms any zero-best NIMPC protocol into a T-robust one, while it involves some overhead uh, in communication complexity. Uh, specifically, uh, their transformation technique transforms uh, any zero-best NIMC protocol uh, into a T-robust one for the same class of functions. We use it to uh, restrict input domains. Consider a class of functions uh, whose input domains are all uh, set to X, and also consider uh, its restriction to subsets. Suppose that uh, we are given a fully robust NIMPC protocol for functions uh, with input domains X. Clearly, it's also a zero robust NIMPC protocol for the same class of functions, because full robustness is a stronger security notion than zero robustness. Then, our important observation is that a zero robustness still holds even if uh, input domains are strict subsets. The reason is a bit complicated, but roughly speaking, the notion of zero robustness does not involve the residual functions, and so it's not affected by what input domains are. Uh, finally, uh, we apply their transformation and obtain a T-robust NIMC protocol for uh, those functions. Uh, it involves some overhead um, in communication complexity. Now we can apply our previous technique uh, to abelian programs. The, the overhead in communication complexity uh, comes from the last step of applying their transformation. So far, uh, we have used the transformation proposed by Ben Hamuda et al. In this work, we revisit it and reveal that uh, their original transformation has a security issue. In the following, we give a brief summary of our security analysis. Again, uh, their transformation uh, technique transforms uh, any zero-best NIMC protocol into a T-robust one. As a building block, uh, their transformation needs a fully robust NIMC protocol for what they call outputting message functions. Let A be a matrix over a finite field, uh, U be a vector, and M be a scalar. An outputting message function associated with them outputs a message M exactly when uh, N inputs satisfy a linear equation. Actually, they propose an uh, NIMC protocol for those functions. However, um, we reveal that their protocol does not satisfy even one robustness. And so their transformation is not secure either. In this work, we also propose a um, technique to uh, fix their security issue without increasing their communication complexity. In summary, uh, their statements still hold true, but it is necessary to replace their building block with ours. Finally, we summarize this talk. Uh, in this work, we propose uh, two kinds of efficient NIMPC protocols for practical functions. The first one is for symmetric functions, and we improve the best known communication complexity for symmetric functions. The second one is for linear classifiers. Um, 
our work is the first proposal other than the general but inefficient construction of NIMPC protocols. In addition, we revisit a previously known technique to strengthen the privacy of NIMPC. We reveal that uh, their sub-protocol uh, used as a building block uh, does not satisfy the security requirements. Uh, we also fix their security issue uh, without increasing their communication complexity. A possible future work is closing a gap uh, in communication complexity between our upper bounds and the best known lower bounds. This is the end of my talk. Uh, thank you for listening.